guys so i'm back with another 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should um it's been a bit of a pain to so i'm having some housework done so all my stuff's covered in dust sheets so if you wonder why i haven't posted as much um on instagram about what i've been listening to i've been having to listen to more digital stuff whereas usually i just play you know the cd the tape the lp or whatever um but that's been a bit trickier so i've been doing that um and by the same token that's why i've also been buying a bit less i've I mean i've had the kind of financial um repercussions of bloodstock um but also yeah it's sort of it's hard to get to my stuff but anyway i i had this list of stuff um these bands the rest of it arrived so i figured i'd still make the video um that way i can continue in the normal process of things as best i can so I appreciate any patience and anyway to get into the interesting stuff if you're not familiar with this series um, I did make a playlist a while back with all the episodes so it's a hell of a lot of stuff to check out right first up on testimony records we have the new carnal tomb album abhorrent veneration so I'm getting a bit of glare because I'm having to sit somewhere different but you can see that really cool artwork by uh, Skadvalder um, it's a nice blue tape version it's just great kind of Swedish styled death metal. I believe they're German. Um, I know Testimony Records are, but it's got all those D beats, the kind of crawling groovy riffs. It's just absolutely filthy. Um, not in the same way as some of the other releases I'm going to talk about, but if, if you like just really good hooks, um, really tight production as well, but not in a way that's fit like over compressed or anything. It's just really good stuff. Um, Testimony Records also, of course, put out the new Organic album and some other great ones. Um, but it reminded me a lot of Organic. Uh, maybe a bit less HM2 heavy, but yeah, really good stuff from Carnal Tomb with a Boron Veneration. Next up, we have Crematory Stench, which is um, very glary, apparently. Really cool artwork as well, but on Blood Harvest Records, I kept these. Um, I don't know, it's not a hype sticker, it's not really an OB strip, but it's, I think it's meant to look like one, but I kept that, I think they're cool. But Crematory Stange play the more kind of typical cavern, sewery death that you hear on like um, Extremely Rotten Productions releases, that kind of Danish style death metal like Undergang, uh, all those sorts of great bands. Um, then they finish stuff like, you know, Crypts and uh, Demolek and stuff, it's just really filthy, sewery ugly death metal really kind of putrid sounding it's absolutely phenomenal it's only a mini album i think it's six tracks uh i'm not sure an ep it says uh it's their second release i believe um you know, i haven't really i'm forgetting all my facts now but uh yeah crematory strengths are just really good filthy death metal if you like that kind of stuff then just listen to it it's great um Next up we have a couple of tapes, so first up this is one that I've seen a few other people talk about which is the new Lamp of Murmur demo, it's the second demo bought by um, my friend over at Death Cult Productions, uh, I bought this off him in person because I believe it has sold out online but he managed to get hold of an extra copy for me, this is the red variant, the uh, artwork and tape are matched, I know there's a white one as well, um, I'm not sure what else. But it's just really creepy, airy um, black metal. There's there's remnants of uh, sounds from like Black Silas, that kind of like raw, dissonant, but kind of really powerful. It's still got a bite to it. It's not um, wimping out on the kick of the riffs and the drums, especially. It's got some real punch to it, but with this dissonant and kind of quite spectral atmosphere. It's one of the best demos I've had in this year for sure um if not the last few years it's really great so you can check out one song of it on death cult productions Bandcamp. that song i believe is free to download actually uh don't quote me on that but um other than that at this point in time there is only tapes i don't suspect it will be released digitally from what uh, dan from death cult said other than that i have no idea and it's not my place to discuss um but yeah if you can get hold of this tape do so try messaging Dan or the band if you're really desperate to get it you might have some luck like I did I'm really happy we met up hung out and managed to get this off him it's a great guy next up is a couple releases from my friend uh, over at Blackwood Productions 
First up, this is Repulsive um, with The Flesh Domain and Thanatophobia. That's the word I forgot. It's basically their two demos put onto one little compilation tape. This was done as a sort of sub-label called Death in the Woods, which you may recognise as the Old Corpse Road logo style. Um, basically what this is, is just really well done Swedish death metal worship, you know, blaring HM2s, groovy wrists, much like with Carnal Tomb, filthy production. It's quite raw on the kind of demo front, but that being said, it's got plenty of clarity. It's really well done, really cool image uh, artwork on the front. Um, and I, in my opinion, it is just a really, really good take on the Swedish death metal sound, you know, Carnage, Dismember, etc, etc. Next up, um, also from Blackwood, sort of didn't miss a beat there, good job, um, is Igarok, which is just some great bestial black war metal, however you want to call it. Uh, once again, it is a, I, I think this one, the other one, um, the repulsive one is one demo on one side, one on the other, makes sense. I believe this is the same thing on both sides, it's about 20 minute demo, so that makes sense. But you know, if you like your bestial warlock, your blasphemy, your conqueror, revenge, black witchery, etc, etc, it really is a killer job. I love that artwork, it's got that kind of very crude look to it that I love in war metal. The music backs it up, it's just, you know, caveman riffs. Thundering blast beats, horrendously aggressive vocals, it's sort of really invasive how it should be. So check out Igarok and uh, Blackwood Productions. Next up we have a few CDs, so first off um, on Charisma and Dark Essence Records, this is a band I saw at Bloodstock, Helheim, I grabbed the CD because it was really good. In the end I decided not to do a Bloodstock haul because um, I just posted everything I bought on Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's natskog underscore jsk. So feel free to go follow me and look at records and stuff. Um, but yeah, here is Helheim from Norway. They're really good, like um, very atmospheric. It's effectively, in my opinion, just really, really well done and still somewhat original, but enslaved worship. It really has that old school enslaved sound that we all love, I believe. Um, I don't think I've ever met someone who really dislikes Enslaved, so if you're that person, feel free to comment on it and prepare for everyone to be like, how the fuck do you not like Enslaved? <laughs> but uh, yeah, Helheim, they're just killer Norwegian black metal. They're from uh, Bergen, um, so, you know, great scene and uh, great black metal band. Check out Helheim, and they were really good live as well. Really, really strong live atmosphere. Next we have a couple of releases from Maggot Stomp. So first up we have, I believe you could say this guy's name as Sanguisugabog. This is their debut demo, Pornographic Seizures. It's so damn heavy. I think um, since Rotted put out the Dying to Rot demo, which actually I will grab. Um, sorry, probably, that was probably just a horrendous crotch shot, but... Um, this one, I got this with the other two. I've already had Rotted in one of these videos, but, you know, bonus shout-out, check out Rotted. Filthy kind of mortician-style death metal. But since that, um, Sangwa Sugabog have probably put out the filthiest release of the year. Um, this demo has a kind of mix of just kind of blundering, stompy riffs that they just... They're not, like, doomy. They're just chuggy, heavy, harsh... With these kind of weird mix of um, real guttural vocals, some kind of more more sewery pig squeals, and it's just not kind of this slammy stuff. It's just really grisly. Um, it's one of those releases that it should make you feel a bit sick in your mouth, and I think Sangwa Sugabog have absolutely nailed that. I believe tapes are sold out. If Maggot Stomp are doing a repress, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure there's still CDs available. It's over on their Bandcamp. Also, massive support to Maggot Stomp, great label. And also from Maggot Stomp, we have Frozen Soul. Um, this, again, is really filthy death metal, but slightly more on the traditional side with um, quite a, t a nice mix of um, maybe Finnish death metal, again, mentioning like crypts and stuff, but with old school American death metal, like some great mid-tempo sections. It's got, it's got some atmosphere, but it keeps this just thundering aggressive pace uh it's four songs again but one of these is a mortician cover so it's a really good cover as well but um 
if you, if you want to check out these guys, I cannot recommend it enough. Along with most of Maggot Stump's discography, I've along with these three things that I showed. I've also got the tapes of Encoffinized and Gutless. They're both really good too. They've been in previous videos. Next up, we have another War Metal release on Profound Law. It's the new Diocletian record. Uh, Amongst the Flames of a Burning God. I forgot the name of it there. It's, um, it's absolutely harsh like if you enjoyed the new infernal coil if you again if you like revenge conqueror those kinds of more piercing war metal bands and um that kind of thing it's got this grinding aggression to it it's really epic like i was in a i was in a sort of quite i'd had enough of being around people when i went into town to get this so and i got back and i stuck it on and it really hit the spot it's just the sheer energy that comes off with these kind of primitive riffs but the sheer speed and energy is just unmistakably impressive um diocletian are a great band in the scene as well one that i i was would have about a month ago or two months ago said you don't see so many people talking around but what, like when i was at undergang i noticed there were a couple of people with diocletian patches i'm seeing a few more of these like especially with a new album so maybe this is their moment um and don't miss out on that moment because Pulling in about 27 minutes, I think this is just unrelenting fury at its best. My favourite song would probably be Degenerate Swarm, Nuclear Wolves, or Procreate Strength. They're just angry, and I like it. And finally, my good friend Jesus, or Jesus, or Jesus, however, is the best way to say it. Um, over at Meisako and Ojo sent me this, which you may have seen on my review site, nathiscog.wordpress.com. It is the new... Well, I say new, I think it's from 2018 with him, maybe 2017 originally. Uh, but Void Terrors, um, Seed of Corruption and Soul Harvest EP, it's just one song per side. Now this release really interested me. If, you, if you're if you keeping up to date with what I'm doing with Garden of Eyes, I'm, the EP's coming along and I'm going to drop a hint on it. It's sort of half old school putrid cavern death stuff but with a lot of influence from the swedish more dv groovy fuzzy side of things and that's what i got from this really interestingly i got this a couple of days after I, the mixing was done for the out uh, for the ep and it just seemed to happen at the right time so what i can really say about this is that it is the perfect balance of swedish death and finnish stroke danish death it's got it's got hooks, it's got groove, it's got some really sludgy bits, but then it's got these kind of pounding, cavernous, dungeon-dwelling kind of soundscapes as well. It's just, it's one of the best death metal releases I've heard in quite a while, um, in terms of an EP and a shorter release, because it is only two songs, and it has really made me hope that they're going to work on an album or something, because I adored this. I think it's just absolutely filthy in all the best ways. So, that is 10 more metal bands you haven't heard but should. If I seem sort of slightly less infused than usual, it is because it's quite early in the morning. There's a shit ton of housework. I can't access my record collection, which has been pissing me off. Um, and it's just, life's a bit all over the place at the minute. But other than that, I'm still grinding along listening to extreme metal all the time. Um, it has given me a chance to review some more bits because I've not just been sitting listening to records being a sloth. Uh, and so... That's a positive to come out of it for sure. Um, thank you guys for checking out the video. If you want to check out the other ones, I always am recommending good like Death, Doom, Speed, Thrash, Power. Well, maybe not so much Power. I do like it, but there's not that many releases these days that catch my attention. But mainly Black, Death, Doom, Speed and Thrash stuff. So, hope you guys check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And most importantly, I hope you guys go and support some of these bands. Until next time, which will hopefully be soonish, stay metal.